Complementarity is one of the most mind-blowing concept of quantum mechanics. Quantum particles such as photon and electron have dual characteristics. Based on the measurement, they behave like wave or particles. You might know about the double slit experiment which proved that light is a wave. The interference pattern says that every single photon collides with itself and behaves like a wave. Complementarity accounts for this behavior. Photons, the light particles, have characteristics of wave particle duality. They move as a wave when no measurement is made on them, but the wave function of the photon is collapsed when the measurement is made. In the double slit experiment, no measurement is made, so the photons pass through both slits and produce interference pattern. If we make a measurement, meaning if we observe it, then the interference pattern disappears. Okay, what does measurement mean here? It is nothing but the observation of the path at which photons pass through. If we trace the path that the photons pass through and find which slit it uses, then the interference pattern disappears. Yes, the observer collapses the wave function. Once we collapse the wave by adding which path information, we can erase the information and turn it back into a wave. This is called quantum eraser. Quantum eraser erases the observed information and turns particles into an unobserved state. Here, let's see how we can experiment this quantum eraser behavior at home. All we're going to do is just extend the double slit experiment. First, do the double slit experiment and see the wave pattern of light. Second, measure the path to identify which slit it passes through and see the wave pattern collapse. Three. Erase the which path information and see the wave pattern again. The first step is very easy. You make two holes in a paper, shine a laser beam into these holes, and it will project the wave pattern onto the screen behind that paper with slits. How can we measure the path and how can we erase the which path info? Light has a polarized behavior. We're going to use the polarization measurement for observing which path the light takes and then later erasing that information by the same polarization method. Light consists of photons that have very different directions of vibrations. Some vibrate horizontally, some vibrate vertically, and some vibrate in other angles. Polarization filter has gaps that allow passage only to photons that vibrate in the same direction. The filter can be used horizontally or vertically. A filter used at 45 degrees will allow passage to 50% of horizontally polarized photons, 50% of vertically polarized photons, and 100% of 45 degree polarized photons. The filter changes the polarization of all the photons that are passing through by 45 degrees. Assume two horizontal and two vertical photons are passing through the 45 degree polarization filter. It allows two photons to pass and changes the direction at which they pass in by 45 degrees. Let's see how we can measure the photon's path and collapse the double slit wave pattern. Attach vertical polarization filter at the left slit and attach a horizontal polarization filter at the right slit. So the photons are split into two different directions. Now the photons have information about the path it passed in. Since it measured and observed the path, the wave pattern disappears. Let's see how to erase the witch path information and turn it back into a wave pattern after the observation. Set the 45 degree polarized filter after the slit. It will absorb 50% of photons and allow 50% photons to pass into the 45 degree polarization. Since all photons now have the same polarization, these don't have the width path information, which was erased by the 45 degree polarization filter. As it is now in an unobserved state, the wave pattern comes back. Let's go experiment it. All we need is a table, a laser light, a safety pin, a pair of polarized 3D movie glasses, two paper clips, and a white paper. The polarized 3D glasses have two different polarizations on each side. One side has horizontal polarization and the other side has vertical polarization.
This test blocks the opposite side lights because both have different polarization. Take out two polarization filters from the glass. In this test, both have the same polarization and block the light when they are at 90 degrees opposite. We can see that the light becomes dim when both are at 45 degrees opposite angles. Okay, let's make it 90 degrees opposite and let it block the light and insert another 45 degree filter in between the two. Now the lights pass through. It doesn't happen if we set them at 45 degree filter before or after the two slits. It only works if you insert them in between. You can also notice that the lights are dim. The first filter will allow only horizontally polarized lights to pass through. The second 45 degree filter absorbs 50% of the light and allows 50% of the light with 45 degree polarization to pass. Now the third filter is 45 degrees to the light, so it absorbs 50% of the light and allows 50% of the light with vertical polarization to pass. Eventually 25% of the light passes through. Next, set up the two slits by scratching the white paper to make two thin lines closer to each other. It should be small enough to be covered by the laser beam. Next, set up the measuring polarization filters. Cut one filter and rotate one to 90 degrees to make it in opposite directions. Verify it using the other filter. Make this into a hard, thick paper using tape. Our measurement device is ready. Check it one more time using the other filter. This is our setup. You can use books or other things for height adjustments. On one side is the table, and fix the paper for the screen on the other side, which is the wall. This distance should be one to three meters apart. The camera is here to snap the projection patterns. To make sure that the laser light is always on, use a piece of tape to press down on the button. And set it where the light points at the screen on the other side. Fix the double slit paper into the paper clip and set it in front of the laser light. Make sure that the light passes through both the slits. Confirm that you are seeing the interference pattern. Fix the filter double slit in front of the laser light. The paper slit should face the laser light beam and the filter should face the screen. Confirm it by using the other filter. Now you can see the wave pattern has disappeared. No more wave patterns. You have collapsed the wave pattern by observing which path it passed through. The light has information of the path it passed through. Okay, let us erase the which path information. Fix the other polarization filter at 45 degrees in front of the slit. Now you can see the wave pattern again. 
you have successfully erased the observed state. Good job.